Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Roxanne and today we are going to do a get ready with me with an unboxing. So I'm going to put in my cat ears. It is raining outside, but it's not like normal rain. It's like, um, what do I want to say here? Uh, my memory is so bad. Um, it's like the first snow that turns into rain. I mean, it's near the end of November, October, and we all know what that means. Okay, so as you guys know, Poxy Pop, Boxy Pop Up is like bonus to having your subscription. Um, I didn't notice, and it wasn't until somebody was pointing it out that uh, they didn't have it staggered like they usually do. So. I do have premium, I do have Lux, I do have the base. Um, usually what they do is they let the premium and the Lux go first, and then they let the base go first, forcing you to um, upgrade to get that extra oomph, I guess you would say. Anyway, I went on right when it opened, I grabbed my stuff, I went to check out, and it was like, haha, no. And I was like, what? But you charged me. So I tried, tried it again, and it's like, haha, nope. Tried it again, haha, nope. I'm like, what is going on? So I checked my account, and sure enough, they had taken it out. And then I was like, oh. So then I noticed a few minutes later, it was back. So I was like, okay. So I waited about 10, 15 minutes this time, and then I went and I grabbed. Uh, sorry, then I went and... Why does it look like I have my ears on weird? Is it because I do? My head must be in odd shape. I'm sure, we'll say that. So anyway, yeah, I went to back and I went through. So let's see what I got. Okay, so first thing I got was Keep It Rio from Sol de Janeiro. Um, I really wanted that. I really wish I grabbed the other kinds. Um, I got the Natasha Denona Transform Pore Vanishing Matte Foundation. Excuse me, here. <coughs> I'm one of those people that I was just chewing on some sweet tarts like the mini rocket ones and I get the dust collected in the back of my throat and I was eating a chip I do okay so I got this at N3N Fair so we'll try that out okay so I also got the Natasha Denona Transfix Matte Concealer. Um, I got this in 1N Natural Neutral. So hopefully those work for me. We'll see. Um, then I got this matte box. I forgot to fix this. And it's because Mr. Charlie Man sleeps on my chair when I'm not using it. I completely forgot it was there and I just put my hand on him and I was like, there's something warm behind me and I just had myself a mini scare. So I watch thrillers all the time, but my cat gets me more scared makes me jump more than anything else in this house. Sass! Okay, so I got this Mac box. Um, let's see what's in it. Oops, guys. I have everything everywhere. Why do I do this to myself? Okay, so the first thing I see is the illuminating um, I'm Lotus Mac sh mask sheet from Tony, to Tony Molly. Um, I got this Symbosis London Hydraulic Acid a Tightening and Replenishing Eye Mask. I already have this. This is like valued at like $93 or some crazy ass shit. <clears throat> yeah, I said it. Okay, so I just really wanted this and it was like, I think $29 for this. So I was like, whatever. I just want to get this. Um, this has the Marc Jacob Iconic Multi Finish Eyeshadow Palettes. So this is a different color than the other one I got. And I think I sold the other one, but I'm not... 100% sure because I have so many palettes. I think you can see like one, two, three. And, yeah. 
Okay. So I'm not going to try this one out necessarily right now. I just wanted to try the Natasha Denona stuff and uh, do the Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> oh, that would make a nice Halloween eye. I think I might do something with that. Maybe tomorrow, maybe not. I do have a funeral to go to tomorrow. So, so I also wanted to try these. The Next Gen Blender Set, Travel Friendly Sponge, Triple Cut Sponge, Latex Free, Vegan, and Cruelty Free. Versatile, broad coverage, precise contour, compact, targeted, quick application. Blend it out without any doubts. Okay, so I think this was like $19 or $29. All in all, I think it paid I know this was four, and these were 12 each. Um, I think it was like $50 I spent with shipping, and then I had to, ooh, those are nice. Very um, dense. So I also got this sponge gel uh, Salted Rose Mani Petty set. Now, I already have one of these, and I really, really like it. Um, I'm probably going to have to use it next time I'm upstairs. Okay, so... Now, I was on line and I was, um, I do go on Reddit. I used to go on Reddit like every day and then I stopped and then I went back on it and I realized everyone was getting doubles of certain things. And I'm like, okay, well, that's interesting. So I got my email and it said that I had two of these, two of these, two of these, and then that was it. And it said one, but it didn't list that one item. Well, the one item was this set right so yeah i don't know if i'm going to keep this one and see if i can trade it with somebody else for one of the other colors or what um i haven't decided obviously i can't really put these in a giveaway so i will likely um, list them uh for auction on my um channel or on my when i do a next another sale so um, I'm not sure if I'll do that with the Sol de Janeiro because I know they're going for quite a bit. <laughs> Let's face it, I could use the money. Or if I'll pop it in the next, the next, um, yeah. The next sale or the next giveaway, that's what I want to say. Okay, so I'm going to use the Morphe. Um, actually, you know what? I'm wondering if I want to try to keep this a little more higher. Yeah, let's do that. So let's see. What do I have here that's... I think I'm going to actually have to go in with the um, It Primer because it is so good. Okay, so we do have to work tonight, so... I forgot that I got an eye palette or else I would have just been like, oh, I'll do this other palette another time but okay so oh. I am going to put that over there so I got this Charlotte Tilbury and so I want you guys just to see the shades here. Okay, so I really like the Love Glow, and I think maybe that's the one I want to do. I'm taping this I believe my winner and got her package so we'll see what she posts in the next couple of minutes days weeks <laughs> oh I am so out of it I had a really good night's sleep last night and now I'm like what am I doing okay so we'll open this up so I do have the lipsticks but I am gonna give that that a try 
So, oops, that's not what I want. Ooh, that is really light. I was wondering if that might be too light for me, but we'll see. Actually. Might not be because I am very, very, very Let's use the bread. I know I'm going out with my concealer first. You know, you can see it on this side, but you really can't see it on this side, which is nice. I think um, it's a little, it's not as, there we go, that actually might get better. It doesn't transform all of my... Okay, so it says shake well, so we know that after using the Coasis tint, you should shake things well. <laughs> okay, guys. Here goes nothing. Actually, that's a pretty good match. So it doesn't look like there's much on my face. So this is Pore Vanishing Matte Foundation, which I like because I do have, te I tend to have an oily, oiler, oilier skin than some people might have. Um, doesn't help that I do work in a very oily situation right now. I'm gonna put some concealer on that as well. I've been doing my best not to annoy my um, my pimples and I had a really big pimple there. Well, I was in bed and I just meant to scratch my face and then like I knew I had a pimple there so I was like, okay, watch it. I was just so tired that I just was not thinking. So they did take away some of the redness, which is nice. I'm gonna turn that light on. So I do have like a couple like like age spots happening right here, like sunspots. And then I got another pimple right there, because you know. I don't know if that, yeah, I guess maybe the mask. I've been wearing the, um, what do you call it, the um, medical mask, and I really, really like them over the cloth mask. Like, I'll wear the cloth mask to go shopping and other things, but when I'm working, I really like the, the medical mask. I kind of almost forget it's there, like, but. Wow, I, I, I'm impressed. And I paid about $15 Canadian for this. So, I mean, that's really good. Like, I think I will be using all of this. I'll be adding this. Um, it's called Transformation. Transformat. Um, the only thing is, is I really did, do wish I did get this in just a bit darker. But I think it blended in well. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? There's that. So I am going to use the Gerard Cosmetics. I find that this is, now this is a woman, woman's brand. So I know I said I was using high end, but I feel like this is high end. I'm actually going to use my little. Like seriously, this stuff is like absolutely it's just crazy how much is on. 
in this. Just look at my. I just want to work a little bit better. Okay, guys. I also wanted to say that apparently the next, what is it, uh, the pop-up sale or add-on sale that happens in November, it doesn't matter if you are a premium or lux, we all get access at the same time. And I know a lot of people are upset by that because, you know, we sign up for the, you know, the perks, right? So... Anyway, to me, it really doesn't bother me either way. I find that BoxyCharm has a better way of shipping out the packages than FabFitFun. <laughs> they need to. So I'm looking in the camera thing, and a camera thing, the screen, and it looks really, really white. But when I look at it here, it's almost like I'm not even wearing any foundation. It's absolutely crazy. I'm really, really happy with this. Okay, so I am going to go in. I've got a few Lexi brushes here and one Shauna B. Okay. So it says of prime, enhance, and smoke. So I am going to let me grab up this one here. Oh, my Visanti. I'm going to take that prime one and I'm just going to put it just all over, um, well actually I'm going to, so I'm going in with the love. You guys know when I go quiet like this, it's usually because it's really good. It's so pretty. So I am going to go in with the Love Glow. And this is supposed to be the Enhance. Okay, so I am going to go in with this smoke, and I'm just going to lightly dip it in, because I want to see the actual color before. Um, guys, look how much product is on my brush, and look how much is on my eye. Like, what? <laughs> this isn't just a smoke. This is like, I'm literally just... That is absolutely crazy. I did not expect that much. Wow. 
Let me get my daughter nerds. Can you hear them falling on the floor? So I'm making a bit of a mask here. Mess, mess. I am going to get rid of the nice facial brush here. And I'm just going to I'm going to take the happy glow, the enhance. I'm just going to I'm just Whoa. Was not expecting that. So I'm just putting a second layer on just to kind of brighten it up a bit. That is pretty, pretty amazing. I was not expecting this. Like, yes, I know it's a very expensive palette, but whoa. And I thought I'd put it on that, like, um, the matte nude to kind of, like, just tone everything down, but it just blended so easy in there. That I, like, I really don't need to do anything more. And the colors she picks are really, really amazing. Holy moly. Okay. Oh, my daughter has a cold and I swear she's trying to give it to me. All right, so 24 minutes long. Let's just finish so this up. I did the three-step benefit brow. Um, I used the Too Faced. Hmm. Mascara. I don't know where I just put it. I just put it down. It's not. <laughs> oh, guys. Just put it down. That is this the craziest thing ever. And I mean, it's like this. Oh, there it is, right there. So it's this big pink hawking thing. And here I am putting it down, and it disappears. Okay, so I am going to use my Bye Bye Pores. This is, I think, Je Ne Sais Quoi. Oh, such a pretty color. And this is my firm up brush. I think this is one of the first brushes I got from Ipsy and I just love it. Okay, there is that. And I think I'm gonna go in with, let's do a Fenty. Actually, I'm gonna use the other Fenty. Okay. You know what else I didn't do that I have been doing? So somebody was asking me about this. So this is the Kaja Joystick Under Eye. And I love it. I don't, like I see, I don't know why I was going to say, but I do. Because it's just like, it works so well. At the end of the day, the uh, creeping that I can sometimes get, it's, it could be there. It depends on how bad I worked that day. Like, you know, how, how heavy the workout was today or not. So I am going to go in with my
So yeah, I'm just gonna kinda, I'm not gonna put a whole lot on. I mean, I am just going into work, so it's not like, you know, by the end of the night, I um, might look better, but I have my mask on and usually it like wipes away what's underneath it. But. Okay, I'm almost out of it anyway. I think I bought some more, but I can't really remember. Okay, so now the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to line my lips with the Jouer. Um, I got this at the boxy pop-up, so I just want to try a little bit of this. So I do have, oh my god, that is so cute. Um, I do have just the balm upstairs, and I put it on before bed, and I love it. That tastes really good, and actually, I think that almost matches the lip liner I put on. Okay. The only thing is, is that, oh, it does stand up, so it does. It's like, wait, what if it doesn't stand up? I don't want to put it upside down like that, so that will go up here. Okay, so. Okay, so that's the red. I don't really want the red because I have a nice pink look on. I think this is Vepi Victorian. Oh, look how gorgeous that color is. Walk of no shame. Now is this the red? Okay, so that's the red. Okay guys, I don't know if it's just me, but do you guys see a difference between the three? Now look at it in there, I do. This one is brown, this one's the pink. Okay, so these two, to me, they don't look that different, but when I hold them up to the camera, I can see. So this is the Walk of No Shame. Okay, so let's try this one. I mostly got them just to try the... formula more than anything okay Did you put them back in the box? What's in there? Let me see. You did, you didn't even eat them. Okay guys. Not quite done yet, I gotta get the... What, what do you want honey? Why is there a cat behind me again? When did the cat get behind me? When did Charlie get back here? I didn't see Charlie come back. Did you see Charlie come back? What do you want? Do you want it in your bowl? Oh, oh honey, you got dog hair in there. Oh, sweetheart. 
Okay, go put it in your bowl and eat it, honey. You want to go watch your show in a minute? Oh, careful, you're dropping some. You leave them on the floor, babies. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. Okay. So let's. I'm here. It's kind of weird today because I've had it up the last two days. I don't think I brought a brush back over here. No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> it was raining outside. So I've got some weird curl thing going on there. Okay. Oh, relax. Fine, whatever. I'm not even going to try and fix it. Okay. Okay, that's why. Because I have to fix it now. Okay, guys. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, the lipstick is nice. I will say that. I am blown away by the eyeshadow, the eyeshadow quality. I'm also blown away by this. I didn't think I would like it, but... Look how soft and flawless my skin looks. You can't see how huge my pores are. I do like just the minimal uh, blush. I'm not, I don't really need that much blush on a day like today. Um, the lipstick is really standing out. And it is more of my color than, you know, I thought it was going to be. I am in love with this, though. It's just... Kind of just moisten it up, I guess. I don't know. Okay, guys, what do you think below? Um, now, I did win uh, a $200 um, gift card, so that's how I was able to get this. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say run out and grab it. Um, I think between the Pat McGrath and this, I would still probably lean towards a Pat McGrath, only because you get more colors. Um, for quality, I would have to say Charlotte Tilbury. Bill, I would believe this one has won Charlotte Tilbury. Um, for my pop-up, I think I did a really great job of picking colors that actually suited me. Um, I didn't think I'd ever be that kind of person that could say, oh, I know what my undertones are and other things but you know you learn that as you go along um these brushes uh, these um sponges i didn't use this one but i did use this one and i liked it it's very soft and dense um are you singing your itsy bitsy spider okay guys i will also say that the tri tribe still has this box on and it has the pure defense which is a great palette and it has this, and this is like a little pot of gold. I really, really like it. It's also a woman-owned company, which is absolutely amazing. I keep using it because I really, really do like it. It makes the eyeshadow pop that much more. Um, okay, so what else do I have here? Uh, I think that's it. Um, so yeah, I think... I still have a Vise Art palette that I got at the last sale that I haven't reviewed. I still have like um, the Huda one that I have not reviewed. Um, yeah, so like I have so much more stuff. And I'm just. Uh, I have so much more stuff. Okay, anyway. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with the, the other one. I'm wondering if it should go in a giveaway. I don't know. We'll see. Um, you guys, I do have another giveaway going on in uh, my other video. I'll link that at the end of this video. And you guys can go ahead, watch it, share it, and follow the instructions and how to win. So, yeah. I hope you guys have a great day. And please, please don't forget to like, share, and make sure you're subscribed.